Hello, and welcome to the overview video for the Teledyne LaCroix SDA3 Complete Link Serial Data and Crosstalk Analysis Software Platform. In this short video, I will demonstrate the features of our analysis toolset that you can use to quickly understand the root causes of vertical noise and jitter. Today, I am using a LabMaster 9ZIA real-time oscilloscope that provides 20 GHz bandwidth on 8 channel, sampling at 40 giga samples per second. On the screen are acquisitions from four differential lanes carrying 10.3125 gigabit per second NRZ signals. The eight input channels are displayed along with math functions showing the differential signal and zoom traces that give a better view at one nanosecond per division. Let's open the serial data analysis dialog. The dialog is organized as a flowchart, allowing users to easily configure and view the analysis setup. It follows your signal through the complete serial data analysis process, beginning with the signal input configuration and ending with I, jitter, vertical noise, and crosstalk analysis. The dialog also provides access to emphasis, de-embedding, emulation, and equalization features of our iDoctor2 and Virtual Probe products. All of these capabilities are included when purchasing SDA3 Complete Link. Let's enable the analysis. I have set up the oscilloscope to show eye diagrams for each lane. In just a few seconds, the analysis is complete. With multi-lane analysis, we can quickly view and compare eye diagrams on up to four lanes simultaneously. Our display is currently set up to display four frames called lanescapes, which contain the results for each lane. Currently, we are in mosaic mode, showing all four lanes. Instead, we can choose to show one lane at a time or to show two lanes side by side using dual mode, which is ideal for comparing two different lane scenarios, such as aggressor on-off analysis. Now let's turn on the jitter analysis. With SDA3 Complete Link, we can quickly see how jitter compares across all four lanes. Users can select one of three dual direct jitter calculation methods to calculate total, random, and deterministic jitter. Spectral and pattern analysis techniques are used to measure periodic and data-dependent jitter components, including ISI, DCD, and DDJ. SDA3 Complete Link includes the industry's largest set of waveforms and plots that let you understand the sources of jitter and of lane-to-lane -lane variations in jitter. With Teledyne LaCroix, users can simultaneously display up to 40 views of jitter at a time. Plots are automatically synchronized across lanescapes for easy comparison. The analysis on screen shows a set of views that provide a multi-dimensional jitter analysis, including jitter tracks, spectra, histograms, and our unique ISI plot, all of which can assist you in determining the root cause of jitter. With lanescape display mode, users can select any subset of the enabled lanes for comparison. Our most recent innovation is the Vertical Noise and Crosstalk Analysis Toolkit, which identifies how crosstalk and other interference sources affect your signals. In this toolkit, the vertical noise superimposed on your signal is determined. Similar to jitter analysis, a table of total, random, deterministic, periodic, and ISI noise are calculated. Like with jitter analysis, we can enable additional views of vertical noise to understand how vertical noise appears in time with the acquired signal, its frequency content, and its distribution. We will now take the noise analysis capability one step further and perform aggressor on-off analysis to characterize crosstalk using the new and unique reference lane capability. First, we will store lane 4 to the reference lane. The setup information and data is stored and the analysis is shown on screen for easy comparison purposes. Next, we will turn off the traffic on lane 3, clear sweeps, and then acquire a new waveform. We now are viewing a comparison of two scenarios, aggressor on and aggressor off. Results from both scenarios are on screen and can easily be compared and documented in order to understand how an aggressor lane affects the signal on the victim lane. Like with jitter analysis, we can display multiple views of vertical noise. This screenshot shows the vertical noise track, histogram, spectrum, periodic noise inverse spectrum, and the new crosstalk eye. Let's examine the crosstalk eyes more closely. The crosstalk eye shows the effect of the aggressor on the victim lane more clearly than a standard eye. This unique view of noise is calculated using a dual Dirac model and is a contour map showing the extent of noise over a range of bit error ratios. 
We can go one step further and overlay the crosstalk eyes to pinpoint where an aggressor lane may cause problems with bit errors. The crosstalk eye and comparison mode are only available with Teledyne LaCroix's Vertical Noise and Crosstalk Analysis Toolkit. That concludes our introduction. Thank you for your time today. With SDA3 Complete Link, you now have the ability to measure and debug eye diagrams, jitter, and vertical noise on multiple lanes simultaneously. For more information or to request a demo, please visit our website. Please also feel free to email us with any questions, comments, or suggestions.